Hi everyone, this is Eugene from Studio 05. Today I'll be showing the step-by-step -step construction process of a structural glazing facade that utilizes thin glass and spider fittings. This product was adapted from Forms and Services, a company that specializes in designing and manufacturing a wide range of architectural products. In my project, I specifically opted for this curtain wall glazing system as compared to other variations and curtain wall systems to achieve a cleaner and transparent look, to be used at the retail outlet of my office design as well as amphitheater at the top floors. So let's get started. Firstly, to install the thin glass that holds the spider clamps, a series of MMM thick and beaded plate components are anchored. The middle component has a piece of connecting articular coat that is being welded to the first piece before anchored with six chemical anchor bolts onto the floors. Much like the top detail, the L-angle steel plates leave a 250mm gap in between to receive the thin glass before being anchored to the concrete top or bottom beams. Other thin glass dimensions are also available, allowing for project load carrying capacity. Then, two pieces of glass fin spline joins the connecting article coat on both sides, tightening the two article coat connecting bolts to fasten the splint. This detail has been modified upon further consultation to avoid unnecessary moments created by the joint that could potentially damage the fin glass. For further information, refer to the specifications brochure. Once secured, Two pieces of thin glasses are being slotted in between the glass thin splints, then tightened with six other thin connecting bolts. The thin glass is also secured with three connecting bolts on the top and bottom steel plates. Moving on to the installation of the thin spider fittings, each 2 and 4 way spider component comes in 2 separate parts to clamp the thin glass on both sides of it. 2 way spider clamps are connected on the thin glass at the top and bottom junctures, while 4 way spider clamps are used in between and on the sides of slightly recessed floor plates. Each joint on the spider clamp comes with the rotel that will secure a double glazing glass onto the spider fitting component. Once the main spider clamp body is installed, the double glazing glass consisting of two layers of 10mm insulating tempered glass with a 12A spacer thickness in between is being lifted and capped with the router on all four edges. Finally, to close the gaps in between the double glaze panels, white silicone sealants are being used with 20 feet acrobars for air and water tightness as well as supporting the panels and increase the rigidity of the facade. 